Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the emergence of the semiconductor industry, the United States has occupied the number one position in global semiconductors most of the time. When the United States was strong in semiconductors, it even occupied nearly half of the global semiconductor market. Being able to win the first place in the world's semiconductors in the 1980s and 1990s in the hands of such a strong American semiconductor, Japanese semiconductors naturally still have some strength. Although Japanese semiconductors have plummeted under the pressure of the United States, they are not only excluded from EUV lithography machines in the field of lithography machines, but also far behind TSMC, Intel, Samsung and other companies in the field of chip manufacturing and chip foundry. Few of Japan's top semiconductor companies have declared bankruptcy one after another, but in terms of semiconductor equipment and semiconductor materials, Japan is still well-deserved number one in the world. Therefore, when the United States made up its mind to exclude China from the world's semiconductor supply chain and lock China's semiconductors at 14 nanometers, the United States first turned to Japan. According to the latest news, Japan signed a tripartite agreement with the United States and the Netherlands and announced the export control of 23 types of semiconductor equipment in six categories. Although Japan has not publicly stated which country this semiconductor equipment export control is aimed at, anyone who has a little knowledge of the semiconductor field can guess at the first time that this export control is aimed at China. Japan can be said to be the farthest party in this tripartite agreement, and its suppression and restrictions on Chinese semiconductors are even more enthusiastic than the United States. Japan has focused on exporting 23 categories including photolithography, etching, cleaning, inspection, and heat treatment, and some of them even affect the 45 nanometers process. If the United States wants to lock China at 14 nanometers, then Japan wants to lock China at 45 nanometers. It's just that the latest news came out, which obviously made Japan's plan come to nothing. According to the domestic semiconductor material supplier Nunda Optoelectronics, the company has built an annual output of 25 tons of RF photoresist, which is already in the customer verification stage and will soon be mass-produced. Japanese Semiconductor Digging Its Own Grave Since the emergence of the semiconductor industry, apart from the United States, only Japanese semiconductors have become the number one semiconductor in the world. From this point, we can see the grand occasion of Japanese semiconductors. However, because the United States has mastered a large number of semiconductor core technologies and some basic patents, and the semiconductor industry is extremely dependent on the global industrial chain, even if Japanese semiconductors surpass the United States in terms of market share, the suppression, blockade and under the sanctions, it was quickly defeated. When Japan's semiconductor industry was at its strongest, its three domestic companies, NEC, Toshiba, and Hitachi, respectively won the top three in the global semiconductor industry. Whether it is in semiconductor equipment, chip manufacturing, or semiconductor materials, Japan Semiconductor has strong companies. It is precisely because of its former prosperity that although Japanese semiconductors have declined, they still have the confidence to sanction China 
and have introduced export restrictions on 23 types of semiconductor equipment. However, although Japanese semiconductors are stronger than China in terms of semiconductor equipment and semiconductor materials, for these manufacturers, the Chinese market, the world's largest semiconductor market, cannot be given up. If export controls are really implemented, they will be the first to be injured. It is also the Japanese semiconductor company that is still the most injured. It is for this reason that the Japan Times recently published an article titled Following the United States Actions Against Chinese Chips Will Severely Damage the Japanese Industry. In this report, the Japan Times analyzed Japan's move from various aspects there will be serious consequences, and this behavior has been strongly criticized. Judging from the reactions of some domestic media in Japan and Japanese semiconductor companies, Japan's move can be described as going its own way. According to the current situation of the semiconductor industry, Japan's semiconductor restrictions on China have the greatest impact mainly in two aspects. On the one hand, some semiconductor equipment such as lithography machines, on the other hand, are semiconductor materials. In terms of semiconductor equipment, China has already achieved domestic substitution of most semiconductor equipment. Although there are still some advanced technologies that cannot be completely replaced, most of the needs can be met by domestic products. Only a few types of semiconductor equipment, such as lithography machines, have a relatively low domestic substitution rate and need to be imported from abroad, but most semiconductor equipment can still be imported from companies such as ASML. Therefore, the most important restricted field lies in semiconductor materials, but there has been a lot of good news recently in this regard. According to the latest news, Nenda Optoelectronics has publicly announced that the RF photoresist has reached an annual production capacity of 25 tons, has completed the customer verification stage, and will soon enter the mass production stage. There are actually not a few domestic semiconductor material manufacturers like Nenda Optoelectronics, but because most of the domestic semiconductor materials rely on imports, the development of these domestic material manufacturers has not been great in terms of production capacity. With the gradual withdrawal of foreign semiconductor materials from China market, the development of these domestic material manufacturers will inevitably enter a very rapid stage. Whether it is Bill Gates, ASML, or Huang Renshuan, they have publicly reminded that the technology blockade is counterproductive, but the US government did not listen to it, and Japan is the same. Next, let China look forward to the rapid development of domestic semiconductor material manufacturers.